to be in their boots is to try and somehow understand what it was like for them to, to do what they did overseas in Iraq or Afghanistan. My name is Jan Bender. I came straight out of high school in 2001 and joined the Marine Corps. I deployed to Iraq between 04 and 05. It was a pretty exciting time to be in theater. It's a big part of my life. I was in Afghanistan from uh, September 02 until I got hurt. Nobody really said, hey, this is what's gonna happen when you become an army wife. It kind of puts you in our world. It's important for them to tell their story, very important for them to tell their story. It's vital to just have a shimmer or a glimpse into what it was like to be in their boots overseas. Uh, a call for a medic uh, rang out and uh, he was hit in the abdomen with small arms fire. It was only supposed to be a five month appointment. I wasn't home while my firstborn was born. You know, you can't like ask them like what's wrong, but then they just like start telling us. And there are eight. Two compound fractures in my shin, one in my wrist, destroyed my knee get, broke my ribs, was in a coma. It's just a world that a lot of people don't know about. And uh, especially at this time in history, it's important to know the sacrifice that people are making um, on a regular basis. My goal is to ride a regular bicycle without any sort of special, you know, equipment to adapt to me. Just get on a bike and ride like I used to. I outreach to veterans. Everything I do is pro-veteran just because of the fact that I feel like I owe them. And as long as I maximize my potential in that direction, maybe I'm living a life worth living. I mean, it's just so easy just to lay there and just give up, but I guess I'm just a fighter. He's not coming home right now. He's got a long time before he comes home. Fellow Americans need to help out by and understand what's going on through the soldier's point of view. Just because he's confined to a wheelchair doesn't mean his life's over. Like my family and friends, they don't understand. It's a different world to them. You know, we still continue to have to deal with all of the new challenges, plus all the challenges every other American family has.